Welcome to the uh, 18th annual Thornhill Woods Haunted House. New this year, we have a Victorian theme. So when you go through, you will encounter a nightmarish walkthrough haunt of scare actors whose job is to scare you. You do all this yourself? Yeah. Why? It's all about the decor, it's all about the detail. You want to give that creep factor. How many people do you think you've had go, go through this? Uh, last year we had probably close to 2,000. Uh, over the years, probably up to maybe 20,000. So this is like 18 years worth of collections? Look at all this. You put a lot of time, money, energy into this for so many years. Why are you committed to that? Again, we want to be that house that all the kids in the neighborhood come to and go, wow, we had this guy in our neighborhood that went all out. Well, the family has been running this creepy haunted house in support of Sick Kids Hospital for over 18 years now. And they've raised more than $150,000 in donations. And every year they change it up a little bit so that crowds can keep coming. They hope to raise more than $20,000 this year. Can you believe you've been doing this for 18 years now? No, it all started with uh, my boys being in Sick Kids and uh, We've just continued to raise money. Last year you added a, a pet costume contest. Tell me about that. What happens is everybody brings their animals dressed up and we have a contest for first, second and third prize along with a lot of giveaways. That all goes to Sick Kids Foundations as well. How many people did you have come for that last year? Last year we had about 700 people show up. It was a really great turnout. Well, this spooky haunted house will run October 28th to the 31st, but the pet costume contest happens this weekend. For full details, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Thornhill, Audra Brown, City News.